We can have discussions all day about which martial art is most effective, but over time, the most effective techniques seem to rise to the top. And as far as striking is concerned, it's hard to beat the round kick, or the roundhouse kick if you prefer. In this video, I'm going to break down the basic biomechanics of this type of kick, so you know what's happening in your body as you complete this movement. And I just want to be clear here, this breakdown isn't intended to tell you what a perfect kick is supposed to look like. In fact, I really don't think there's so such thing as a perfect kick, but there are certain parts of a kick that seem to be present in most effective roundhouse kicks. So those aspects of the kick are going to be the focus of the anatomical and the biomechanical breakdown. First, we're going to start with the lead leg. So as you step and open up the lead leg, you're performing a movement called hip external rotation, performed by a combination of glute and deep external rotator muscles at the hip. Now, once the foot is planted on the ground, we're set up for the rest of the movement. And this is because once the leg is externally rotated and planted on the ground, it affords the rest of the body the ability to generate rotational force. Second, we'll move up the chain to the torso. So as we pivot on the limb in contact with the ground, the torso begins to rotate and side bend a little bit as well, using muscles like the obliques and the quadratus lumborum. And I think it's also important to note that in an attempt to increase our mechanical advantage for force production through the torso, we use our arms as a counterweight by swinging them at the same time. And you can see this demonstrated really well in the really high level Muay Thai fighters. So now that we have the mechanical advantage of our hips and our torso that are in mid rotation, we move to the leg actually doing the kicking. There are a couple of aspects to consider here. The first is hip abduction or bringing the leg away from the body. In this case, against gravity. The gluteus medius and the tensor fasciae lata or TFL for short, brings the hip up and stays contracted to keep the leg at the level of the kick. While this is happening, the hip flexors contract to keep or bring the hip forward relative to the angle of the torso at the time. So if you're getting that good turnover at the hip, hip flexion in this case is actually occurring almost parallel to the plane of the floor. So we have our hip abductors keeping our leg at the level of the kick and our hip flexors bringing or keeping the thigh forward. So now we need to talk about the lower leg. The next big movement as our leg travels towards the target is knee extension, which happens as a result of the contraction of the big quadricep muscles at the front of our thigh. And this is the final movement happening concurrently with everything else, of course, that we see in the roundhouse kick. So even though knee extension is typically happening in the sagittal plane, much like the hip flexion that we talked about earlier, the angle of the leg in relation to the ground with a good hip turnover results in a horizontal movement eventually striking the target. All right, so let's put it all together since this is all happening in like less than a second from start to finish. As we step forward, we externally rotate our hip and plant the foot to afford the rest of the body the opportunity to generate rotational force, which was closely followed by side bending and rotation at the trunk. With the help of our arms acting as counterweights during the swing, to help create more torque. Our torso has turned and side bent. Our kicking leg hip begins to flex as our knee extends, both relatively parallel to the ground until contact is made with the target. So this obviously doesn't cover an infinite amount of nuance for different body types or joint angles and the recoil and all that shit. But this should at least help provide a little bit of insight on how your body is working and moving during a roundhouse kick. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.